Good morning, good morning, everyone. Well, I don't know what time it is, wherever you guys are located, but welcome to MBS Life Journey. Please click the like and subscribe button if you are into the content that I'm posting. But anyway, mind, body, spirit, first thing in the morning every day, I get up and I make sure to get some movement in this body, especially getting older, you know, we're not getting any younger. So it's important to move the body. You'd be surprised how releasing those endorphins help when it comes to your your day, your daily routine. So I just want to put the information out there that's already been said millions and millions of times how important it is just to move. It doesn't have to be anything strenuous. It can be what I'm doing right now on Mondays. Mondays, Wednesday, and Friday, I like to do a nice little slow run, trying to get my body readjusted. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do a nice walk, meditate. Any kind of form of meditation is good. And on Saturday, I, I call it like a little fun day, you know, do whatever I like to do. But yeah, um, this is uh, important when it comes to how you feel every single day when you wake up. If you feel like crap, this is one of the best things to do is just get the body moving. And it seems simple, but a lot of people don't do anything. And overall, you start to feel like crap. Everything is connected, the mind, the body, and the spirit. And the first decision you have to make is are you gonna do something in the morning? You have to ask yourself before you hit that snooze button, are you just gonna lie back down or are you gonna get some movement in? And you'll feel so much prouder of yourself if you choose to control your own thoughts and put the negativity away and say, you know what, I'm gonna get up regardless and I'm gonna move. That's when the days really count when you can get past the your mind trying to block you from doing what it wants to do. Because all your body's trying to do is be comfortable. It's going into survival mode. So you have to force that uncomfortness on yourself and do what it doesn't want to do if you want to see some results. So like I am a prime example of somebody who decided, hey, I'm not gonna do anything today. And I'm telling you, as you get older, the harder it gets to get back into shape and your body is just not the same anymore. So, and the way around that is not to, not to overdo it, ease back into it. You know, don't, you're, you don't have to go all out, go hard. If you, if your body needs a break, listen to your body as well. Like don't, if you were running five miles a day at one point in your life and you hadn't worked out for a few months or a year, then maybe walk or do a run, run, uh, run walk. You know, you don't have to go hardcore, but just do something and you'd be surprised how you feel, especially like if you go to work around eight or nine, and you do a nice little walk or run in the morning, you feel so much better before you get to work. You would be filled with so much energy by the time you get to work because you got the body moving. And people would be like, man, what's wrong with you? Why, why are you so energetic? And after I say a week, it'll become like natural. It'll be a normal routine where you just, you, you don't have to think about it anymore. You naturally do it the way you breathe air. So. Uh, that's my message out to you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day.